Boxes filled with ballot papers being carried into Liberia's National Elections Commission. This is the country prepares to finalize the results of Tuesday's presidential and legislative polls. The election is the first to be held since the United Nations ended its peacekeeping mission in Liberia in 2018. Here we electronically tabulate the results. So yesterday elections were conducted, counting went on and those results were pasted on the wall. Copies of those results are then brought to the tally center and they are entered into the results tally software. Before we do that, we make photocopies, we give to all the observers and party agents present. Despite some clashes ahead of the vote, both local and regional election observers say polling was peaceful and voter turnout was high. Football legend George Ware is hoping to win a second term in office, but will have to secure more than 50% to avoid a runoff. When you have candidates uh, come out to announce their own results, I think that is troubling. And this is why we say uh, this should be considered as fake news. Only when the National Elections Commission announces a result can those results be uh, the actual results. Some two and a half million people were eligible to vote in the polls. Liberia is still struggling to emerge from two civil wars that killed over 250,000 people between 1989 and 2003. The Election Commission is expected to announce the first results later on Wednesday.